So I am Joyce Lyon, and I'm at Groveland Gallery with my part of Points of View exhibition. Uh, so I wanted to tell you something about where this work comes from in me and in the world. I learned very early, well, when I was in college, that landscape, that, that, that place, bigger than landscape, carries meaning and that artists can use that to speak about many things. Um, I learned it from the Hudson River School, which I was introduced to in a wonderful course with Barbara Novak at Barnard. My work, and was influenced by their, their reverence for this great big new world that they were discovering. Although my work does not carry the manifest destiny, uh, at least I hope not, uh, themes that is in some of their work. Um, I learned it personally another time when I was in graduate school in Minnesota. I came from New York, Minnesota was new. I went to visit my aunt's relatives in southwestern Minnesota thinking I was going to visit people and came back with those great big prairie farm spaces in my head and then in my work. In, I learned it or I used it in a series I did about my father's Holocaust experiences using place that I knew and place that I did not know in Poland as a way to explore what I could and could not understand. The work in this exhibition continues an interest I've had in exploring the Minnesota River Valley. Uh, some of this work is from what we call Crosby Farm uh, Park and below the old Cedar Avenue Bridge below Minneapolis and St. Paul. It is work drawn from experience. I walk. I work from places that I know well, and so I, it's important that I am working both from the cognitive and the emotional experience of being in those places. I do not work on site, except to store. I work from photographs, wanting to, wanting to take with me the specifics of an experience, which I can then choose to use or discard depending on what works in the drawing. I also am very, very interested in the light, and the light doesn't stay still, so photographs become quite important. When I work in the studio, I am sometimes recreating for myself the experiences that I've had in the place. I am hoping to recreate them for other people. I have been told by many people their stories about experiences in, in along those riverbanks. This is Dakota land, and there are many kinds of experiences inscribed in that place. I, am, I, am, I try to be respectful and mindful of that, even as my focus is on our experience and how it relates to, to our experience of the natural world and also to considerations of climate change, for example. I was told about this piece uh, by a, a friend that when she looks at it, she sees embedded in all the layers, in all of the uh, marks and colors, she feels she is in the presence of all those past stories. And that makes me very happy.